How is it going everyone? Welcome back. Today we will be looking at Orochi, the original best assassin before Berserker got all his buffs and all that fun stuff. So, well technically I guess PK was one of the best. He was seen as the most honorable at the time. So, starting off here, you do have a three light attack strike, same as some of the other characters we talked about. Now, if you land a top light, you get your second one free. And then the third one can, you know, come out at a different angle. Now, as you saw at the beginning, I wanted you to be able to see that if you do miss the first one, the second one will be slower. A lot of people, you know, input the two. Well, if you're too far away and you input the two, that second one may still come out. I guess my timing's actually just too good for it to mess up. If you're not spamming it, it doesn't come out too fast. Anyway, so it makes it easy to parry for a lot of characters. So, moving on, he has a light into heavy, gets parried quite a bit. He has the two top lights into heavy that you can faint, um, or, you know, you can let it fly if you so wish. His heavy string is two heavies, or if you land one heavy, you can do a light attack directly after at in um, you know any uh, any side his zone attack is a very quick comes from the left and is a heavy attack he also has a dashing in top light now the problem is this is a top light and it does have quite a hey I'm coming right at you type of thing it's pretty easy to parry. If they're dodging, it works really well. Now, if you do a dodge, uh, dash back light attack, you get this, which is used as a dodging attack and then getting an attack. So you want to dodge their attack and then get an attack of your own. That's what you're going to be trying to do um, quite a bit with Orochi. So... He has no unblockables to speak of, um, which is his downside. The zone doesn't link into anything, so what I've shown is essentially what you got. You also have a dodge back heavy attack. Upon holding, you can choose which side you want it to come out of. The left or the right will literally just be raw damage, um, and it'll do 17. The top one is a undodgeable which will also do 17, so if they try to dodge out of it, you'll hit them. Now, warning, the best way to stop Orochi from doing this is when he comes running up, as soon as you see him start to run up, smack him. Just, you know, one quick swing, just, just smack him. Knock him out of it. Now, Orochi has a way to deal with this. By pressing B, you can feint it at uh, any point. So when he starts moving, before he goes into it, he can actually cancel it do a guard break or he could parry you if you're trying to do the uh, one smack although most of the time if you're on a console he's not going to be able to uh, get out of this and then parry a light attack quickly it's it's very very difficult now at max level he could do this and then even get a deflect making it strong um, this is really his strongest um, tool now as you can see here it does reset uh it puts you midway through your combo strings so you won't be able to get the uh two top lights right afterward you could go for a guard break or a heavy feint or you could also go for a heavy most of the time that'll get parried so be a little cautious with it the other thing you will be able to do with the rochi is when you go for his last swing you can actually dodge and get your recovery frames a little bit faster. So as you see here, it takes him a sec to pull the sword back. If you do two and then dodge, it'll come back a little bit faster and you know give you your offensive pressure. Now using this, whoops, using this, you can also do the dash forward to try to create some pressure. Oftentimes it's still going to get parried. Um, you could also do that into his backstab which could be good, could be bad. It, it really depends on how it's utilized. Um, so moving on through the rest of his move list, we've talked about quite a bit of it. 
Now we're going to get to his two deflex. His deflex are some of the best in the game um, in terms of damage. So his light attack practically guarantees you a light attack afterward with how quick it is. It does 35 damage as well, which obviously is not bad. And this move that I was talking about, that's how you'd utilize it. When you know they're going to go for an attack. Although Orochi's do uh, just dodge aways are also pretty good. You could also go into a heavy attack after landing. Sorry, I closed my eyes. You could also uh, go for a heavy attack afterward. If I can get this. Sorry. It's been a it's been a long week. You can also cancel that heavy attack, of course. Now when we go for his heavy attack, we'll find some interesting things here. So his heavy deflect is armored. You can get hit through it, it does fifty damage. So it is a little little dangerous to use every now and then, but it is pretty good. Now, the fun thing if you go for the heavy, though, is you know, you're going to scare the opponent. They're afraid of getting hit by 50 damage. So you can actually cancel it into a uh, another attack. You can simply feint it. You should be able to press X to go for a guard break, although this goddamn character swings their next attack. There it is. You'll be able to cancel it into a, uh, into, you know, whatever you want, really. Guard break, um, you could go for the 50 damage. I don't remember if you can faint. You cannot faint faint. You can only go for a guard break out of it. Which does make sense. So you can also dodge out of it. So that, that was the other option. So upon going into it, you can either guard break or you can dodge out. I find guard break to be the best option if for a uh, dodging opponent. You probably are going to want to be able to do that. You could dodge out of it, I just don't see why you would unless you're trying to create a lot of space. But at that point, why don't you go for the mix-up? Go for the damage. And after you land it, don't forget, follow up with a follow up with a guard break before they can get too far away. And sometimes you catch the opponent off guard. You don't always have to, but I find you know, it's probably a good idea to at least give it a whirl after landing the heavy. You can also just go straight into um, another attack string if you wish. You could go straight into your lights. I think the uh, guard break comes out a little faster and is a little bit more deceptive, which is why I find it a little bit better. And that will cover it for Orochi. He excels with deflex, but unless you're consistently hitting a deflect, he, uh, he does struggle in a lot of cases because 18 damage off these two top lights isn't a whole lot if you really think about you know like characters Jormungandr and stuff like that getting 18 damage off one hit with a light the other main problem is that other characters get more damage off their lights warden off his two guaranteed will do more damage as well so you know uh, pl play Orochi if you really like his looks. Obviously, he has some wonderful looks, and he is—he is a very cool character. I just wish that he—I uh, don't know—I wish he at least had one unblockable to make him a little bit more scary. Because currently, as it stands, when you run out of stamina, he's really not all too terrifying. At least I don't find him to be. But. That'll cover it, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I missed anything, please let me know down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.